Hey guys, welcome back to the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I see that you guys like when I do videos with him. Because everybody loves me, that's why. So we're going to do another me. video for you guys. And today we are going to talk about your five love languages. So, um, for any of you that don't know what the five love languages are, um, you can... Go catch the book at Barnes & Noble. You can get it from the library. Wherever. It's by Gary Chapman. It's called... What is it called? The Five Love Languages. Oh, The Five Love Languages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what we did was... We've taken this test before, but we went ahead and took it again. Um, just in case anything was to change. But it's to see what our love language is. And we have two completely different, like, opposite love languages. Um, so if you want to take the test, I'll link it down below, but it's five, the number five, lovelanguages.com. You're so lame. Okay, so um, I'll link it down below if you guys want to take it with your significant other. Why is it important that they take this test, though? Why, you, why, why is it so important? Um, I think it's important because you got to know how your partner loves, exactly. right? Exactly. You need to know how each other function and how... Like she said, each other love, you know, we, we speak different languages. The way we show how we love each other is kind of different. So it's important that you understand those differences and similarities between how you guys express love. Um, it cuts down on a lot of arguments uh, if you know how your spouse or your partner um, shows love. Yeah. And I think, like, we'll bump heads a lot just because... I mean, I'm going to share with you the results from our test that we took, but you guys will be able to see, like, why we bump heads because we're completely different. Like, we complement each other really well, but we are still completely different, and our love languages are different, like, the complete opposite. They're literally. the complete opposite, um, but even though they're opposite, we try to find ways where we... we we find ways to come to a common ground. Um, so, although although your love language may be different from your partner, it's important that you at least come to a happy medium as far as working out a resolution that's going to be best for the for your relationship. So, and can it, everybody guess what my love language is? I know, like, like it's crazy that we knew each other's love language before we even before took, we took the, the quiz. Test, yeah, and it's crazy to like yeah. pick up on it but um yeah so gary chapman breaks it down into like five different categories mm -hmm. um he breaks it down um into all right so the first category could be um words of affirmation meaning that you're the one that likes to be told i love you mm -hmm. or i appreciate That's you things up. like that uh, you like to be encouraged um acts of service means that um you like when a person you like when your your partner kind of um goes out of your goes way out of their way to do things for you mm -hmm. um gifts are uh receiving gifts is just what it is you like you're the type of person that likes to receive gifts <coughs> go there <coughs> go uh, there shut up no you like it not only that like you like to come home to like flowers, flowers candy and bears stuff like that watches rings you know go there Shut um, up. Quality time, um, which is just what it is. It's quality time. It's you like being able to spend that quality time, that one-on-one -on -one intimate moments with your partner. Uh, and physical touch um, is, you know, just that ability to, to hug, to kiss, to hold, hold hands. Hand, um, make it, you know, you know, intimacy. Um, all of those are encompassed within the... the um, the physical touch um, category of the mm -hmm. file love language. So again, you got words of affirmation. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, quality time, mm -hmm. acts of service, receiving gifts, and physical touch. So those are the five that I guarantee you will fall in one of those categories. Um, and there are times where you might get, um, you know, your score might come up to two of your score or two of your highest score might be the same. 
Um, well, I said usually. Usually, it necessarily don't. Yeah. Um, just because how Gary Chapman, um, how he constructed the mm -hmm. test. Uh, but, but it's a really good book. I mean, I, I'm i sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, it is a really good book. I've actually read the second one. Um, I can't really think of the name of it off the top of my head. But if I figure it out, I'll drop it in the link below. Um, but they do have one for singles. They have it for um, married couples. Um, and when I was just taking the quiz just recently, I also saw that you that they had it for to see your child's love language. So that's a little weird, but I think I might take it anyway. I know what my son's love language is because... DJ's love language would be... Uh... I think Words of affirmation would you be think so? I definitely think so because this boy loves oh, to say I, I guess, love you. I guess it'll be. I guess it'll love be. It would. I think it would be your top two. I think no. I think it'll be interesting to see because he likes. Oh, to kiss he does and like stuff. the kids. He likes to like. He's hug a huggy person. I don't know. That I, would be interesting. I think we got. We we'll, got to take the test. We'll do DJ. that. We'll keep you guys updated yeah, we'll, on. That'll be interesting. What our son's love language He's is. He's all over the place. You'll have to know him to kind of know what he is. He <laughs> likes to kiss, and I mean. Not like weird, but he likes to, you know, come to you and give you kisses on the head and on the cheek. And he likes yeah. to be up under you and stuff like that. But he, he also... He always loves to say, I love you. Mm -hmm. um, he loves spending quality time. Yeah. He loves likes receiving, receiving gifts. gifts. <laughs> so, uh, and acts, and acts of service. service he, he does. To, He's yeah. all over the place, man. That's a boy. So, well, probably we'll, boy. we'll take know. it with him. And he will not have no trouble with his woman. We'll keep you guys updated on what his love language is, but we won't make this video too long today. We'll get right into what our love language is. Um, you want to go first? Or? Sure. So, um, like like she said, we've taken this test before. I took it uh, in grad school, and I actually I uh, used the five love languages with my couples. Um, so when I took What's it, your couples? With what my, do you mean? Um, they don't so, know. I am a therapist. I'm a counselor. Um, so I do premarital counseling, relationship counseling, and marriage counseling. So when I was going through my program, we were introduced to the five love langu languages. So when I was doing our marital counseling, I taught the five love languages and I assigned that book to my couples to read and to um, try to understand each other's love language. Um, so just as it was then, um, it's still the same. So my number one is ding, 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 11 points at physical touch. I am a touchy-feely type of guy. I love kisses. I love hug. I love that intimacy with my amazing, beautiful wife. I mean, who can blame me, though? Uh, number eight is acts of service. No, number uh, two. Number two, I'm sorry. Coming number in two, in coming points. in number eight points is acts of service. Uh, number six is quality time. Number three. Oh, I'm sorry. Number three. <laughs> sheesh. Number three is quality time, and that has six points. Um, number four is words of affirmation, which it has four points. And number one is receiving gifts. Number five. Number five. <laughs> number, I'm dyslexic, y'all. Okay. Number five is receiving Let's gifts. Let's play this over. So his number one is physical touch. Number two is acts of service. Number three is quality time. Number four is words of affirmation. And number five is receiving gifts. That's yes, for him. That's for me. That's for me. So for me, complete, complete opposite, y'all. So my number one is words of affirmation. I like to be told, baby, you know. Baby, you're beautiful. No, not really that. I don't really you're like amazing. to be told you're, you're beautiful. Such a ama amazing but person. I like to be told, like, I enjoy what you do for us, and I love you. Um, thank you for everything you do. Not really the beautiful part. I, I can really go without that. You're an amazing mother and wife. Yeah, that type of stuff I like to be told. So it just makes me feel all warm and cozy inside Bye, when he tells me those type of things. My number two is quality time. Um, I told you guys before that I like to spend time with my family. That's, like, one of my favorite things to do. So quality time... It, comes in at number two. Oh yeah so words of affirmation had 11 points for that quality time which is my number two i had eight points um i enjoy just spending time with him just being out i don't care what we doing just us two whatever it i don't even care what it is um my number three is acts of service um which i'm kind of surprised at that that came in at seven points i'm not really mm. i mean i like when he washes my car and wash the dishes 
cook. Like, no. she forced me to cook breakfast for her. I had to go out in the snowstorm this week, yesterday, and my car got stuck down the hill. Okay, no. I mean, gonna talk about all I that, mean, right? She she enjoys I, acts of service. I like I like when he like go out of his way and do stuff that makes it easier for me. You know, if I'm if I'm used to doing everything, I like for him to be able to give me a break sometimes and do some of these. So I think, you know, if you take the quiz, that is some of the things that it asks. So I think that's kind of why I scored pretty high on that. Um my number four is receiving gifts. I got three points with that. I like to receive gifts every now and then, just depending on what it is. I know when I first started this vlog, um, he bought me this like bath and body works, like stress reliever set. And y'all, that was amazing. I still have some of it, but I, what? Something, go ahead, go, go. But, um, I don't know. I do like that. And then my last and final one is physical touch. And um, that's, I am. Blah, blah, go ahead. <laughs> I, I think I scored the least on that. That came in at one point, y'all. So I, I'm not like a real PDA type person. Um, I mean, I like to kiss and I like to hug and stuff like that, but it's just not that important to me. Like and that's where that's you where the conflict the comes conflict in. When you're because my one number one, I mean his number one was my physical. last one. Yes, absolutely. And my yeah. number one was pretty much his last one. Right. So, so we got to learn how to compromise and come together to figure out a common ground. Right. There. So we're not perfect. Um, we have our disagreements, and obviously, um, taking that test kind of shows kind of why. Uh, we will have some of the disagreements that we have. Um, but again, it's important that we talk to each other in an open way that's respectful. And it, and we talk in a platform where each partner is heard. Um, and that we, um, you know, we respect what each other is saying. Um, and that we try to validate what each other is saying and what each other is trying to feel. Uh, express, you know, whenever we're talking. Uh, we don't try to prove a point. Um, I think that's where you kind of mess it up at when you try to prove a point. Uh, but we have our challenges. And, you know, for me, it's, you know, one of those things where, again, it's my number one is physical touch. I'm a lovey-dovey physical type of person, the intimacy thing. And that's her last one. Um, so how I express my love is completely different from how she expresses her love. My way of expressing my love is not as important. For her, it's on her bottom, at the very bottom, right? So, you know, when I'm, if I don't, for me, when I don't receive that same level of, you know, how I feel like I should be loved, the physical touch, you know, that, that you know, that level of intimacy, it can cause me to feel insecure about myself or feel that she doesn't love me the way, you know, enough or how mm -hmm. I love her. And when I'm not, giving her those words of affirmation it causes her to feel that i'm not sh i don't love her you know like or I i'm should not adequate her, or enough or not adequate enough or not doing enough to <clears throat> right you know be to, the to warrant that... those words of affirmation right yeah so that's kind of where we kind of um in the beginning we bumped heads a lot on it but we've been working through it um and it's a process uh you know we pray about it we we go to the biblical text about it all the time um, because we definitely understand that, you know, we need a mediator in it. Um, so, you know, we, we thoroughly enjoy it. Um, you know, we we really enjoy taking that test. And I encourage you, if if you and your significant other uh, are constantly having those disagreements, um, that you guys should take the test. I mean, Be not only that. I think they should take it regardless, regardless because that'll yeah. help you kind of understand better. why <clears throat> you guys do the things that you do Absolutely. and to, you know, to love each other better. Mm -hmm. I think it'll help you guys just love each other better. Right. So better. better. I can't even talk today. But, um, yeah, so we encourage you all to go take it. Um, if you have any questions for us, just please feel free to comment them mm -hmm. below. Um, there's but, another one uh, that's kind of like the five love languages. It's the Clifford Strength Finders test. Oh, yeah. We took that, that one we as well. Took, um, that one friends. is not free, though. That so. was not free. That one actually is like 20 bucks a piece, I think. So, roughly running about 40 bucks. Um, 
but we kinda, might make a separate video. We'll about make a separate that video one. on um, the strength finder test. It's a little test. different. Um, but the strength finder test kind of encompasses not just the relationship aspect of thing, but just your personality in general. Um, but we do appreciate you guys for tuning in. We hope you guys like, comment, subscribe um, to the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, please give us, let us know what do you want to, what do you want to hear, what do you want us to talk about. Uh, we love receiving you guys' feedback. So we do enjoy share. doing these videos. So if you guys have any um, anything else that you want us to vlog about, just please feel free to let us know. Shoot us a dm um whatever the case may be but we look forward to talking to you guys again soon like he said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video we're out hey.